Hey guys, what's up? It's Tachi. Welcome to or back to my channel for today's video. I'm gonna be talking about self-love and self-care These are two things that I'm extremely passionate about and I hope that you are too You probably are if you're clicking on this video I'm just gonna basically go through a few of the things that truly helped me and they're very simple very basic and just easy to grasp I think it's a good push in the direction that on social media Everyone's talking about self-love about how we should love ourselves But no one's really you know talking about how so I thought I would make this video to kind of share a few of my favorite and most helpful self-love and self-care tips as well as habits and I hope this video can help you in any way shape or form without further ado subscribe if you're new and let's get into it my first little self-care tip is just to be kind to yourself and I know that's very very broad but within each of these things I guess I'll just kind of give you guys a few sorry I'm like reading my little book here kind of just give you a little bit of a how into each of these broader topics it's a very broad statement but it holds a lot of depth and step one is kind of just being mindful and to just live a very mindful and aware life and how you can do that is by taking time to check in with yourself, whether it be in the morning with a quick five minute, you know, gratitude check in kind of thing where you go over some things that you're grateful for, or it could be time that you spend with yourself journaling or taking the time in the morning, either looking in the mirror, accepting who you are, loving who you are, and just remembering at the very core of your being and within your heart, your soul, your body, your every part of you, remembering how incredibly individual you are. You know, there's a lot of pushing is towards more inclusivity in the media, more inclusivity in ads and campaigns and just in life and sports and every aspect of everything. But I think that step one to inclusivity in life is including yourself, including yourself into this diverse group of people and understanding how individual and special you are. If you really think about it, you break it down, like nobody has all of these exact same traits as you. Nobody has any of these same features. We're so different, like no two people are alike. Isn't that incredible? And sometimes people forget that and so I think once you realize wow I am me I am myself I have all these different qualities I'm learning I'm growing I'm changing every single day and I am me it's it's easy to kind of find a bit of self-love within that it's easy to kind of develop this feeling of gratitude for yourself when you realize how special and individual you are not in comparison to others you're not special in comparison to others or you're not better than anyone else but you are special in comparison to life you are individual you are you and that's something that people tend to forget and I think if you take a moment every day in the morning or in the night or whenever to just kind of like sit in the seat of self and realize wow this is my life I'm alive I'm here I have this opportunity to be the best version of myself I have this opportunity to just be so it starts to cultivate that self-love within you and it really starts to grow from a place of acceptance and a place of gratitude and a place of just truly honoring and caring for yourself because of how special and how beautiful you are another way to just really truly be kind to yourself especially in this day and age is taking a step back from social media social media can be toxic as amazing as it is for you know connecting people and spreading awareness on certain topics social media can really hurt if you're not mentally strong enough it's easy to just compare yourself and to you know feel not good when you're seeing other people's posts online or whatever so I think it's important every now and again to just kind of like check in with your social media and see if the posts and the people that you're following are helping you are making you happy, are giving you a sense of self-love and gratitude and just, you know, posts that you want to be seeing. Recently, I did pretty big unfollowing of a bunch of models and a bunch of people that weren't uplifting me and weren't helping me in any way. And if anything, I was just comparing myself to them. So I decided, you know what? No, I'm going to follow a bunch of accounts about self-love, about poetry, about art, about surfing, about sports, about just living life to the fullest, trying to unfollow people that just mostly care about the way that they look and about sharing this perfect glamorous life that just is <laughs> just really not real. I think that's a little more reminder that I want to give you guys is that social media is just really not real. Like someone can be extremely depressed and just portray this beautiful image of them just being so happy. So I think it's important to realize that and just to be like, hey, this is just their portrayal, their highlight reel. I'm going to take it with a grain of salt. Take everything you see with a grain of salt. And so I think it's important to follow people that you genuinely want to see and not people that are going to give you this kind of toxic image and this toxic reality. That being said, it is beautiful to follow, you know, beautiful girls and whatnot. So if you can kind of separate the comparison with yourself to these people, then that's wonderful. That's great. But if not, then I think it's good to take a break sometimes. So yes, be kind to yourself mentally, physically, and in every way possible. A few other ways mentally that can maybe help you would be to meditate and taking, you know, just take time to really just sit with yourself 
and just be with you. Whether that be going for a run or just sitting, doing nothing, just sitting with your thoughts, with your emotions and just feeling the way that you feel, checking in like, how do I feel today? Is this okay? Is there something I can do to make myself feel better? If you're upset, kind of, you can kind of think for a second. These emotions, they're malleable. As much as emotions can be very strong, they're always malleable and you always should know that you're the one in control as much as it doesn't seem like it. And as you start to cultivate, you know, more self-love, you kind of are able to move around the way that you feel to feel the best that you possibly can. And there's just different things that you can do in order to help that. So say you're feeling extremely angry and you kind of stop for a second in the midst of that anger, you can say, oh, wait a minute, let me just slow down for a second. I'm gonna be mindful. I'm gonna listen to the way that I'm feeling. I'm gonna feel this in my body. I'm gonna feel this in my heart. I'm gonna feel this in my soul. Do I truly need to be angry right now? Or is there another approach that I can take when I'm sad? Why am I sad? Respect the reason that you're sad. It's okay to be sad. It's 100% okay to be sad. But if you no longer want to feel sad, think about the steps that you can take to feel better. What can I do right now? I can go for a walk. I can listen to some music. I can just try to raise my vibration. I can try to alleviate this pain. But the first step is kind of acknowledging, yes, I am sad right now, but I want to feel better. And that is so important. And that is so, so powerful. So my next self-care tip is of course, bodily health. Health, body, and mind, they really go together. One helps the other, the other helps the other, or hinders, you know, depending on what you're doing. So of course, I have to talk about health, meaning healthy eating. And of course, I just want to stress the importance of putting the good nutrients in your body. Leafy greens, good proteins, healthy fats, eating enough, not eating too much. I can do like a million videos on this, but for this video, I just kind of want to touch on the basis that once you start to cultivate that self-love, you will really truly start to care about your body or vice versa. If you care truly about your body, you do start to cultivate that self-love. They truly do go hand in hand. So of course, eating healthy is the number one priority in your journey towards loving yourself completely. I'm not saying don't have cheat days, but I'm saying it's really good to adopt a healthy diet. And to me, that is mainly plant-based foods, whole grains, and happy, healthy fat lots of vegetables and lots of nutrients. Speaking of nutrients, another thing that's really important to me is supplementing for my overall health. Thank you to Care-of for sponsoring this video. Care-of makes it easy to take all the vitamins that you need. All you gotta do is take a five minute quiz and Care-of suggests vitamins that you may need to help you based on your dietary information, your restrictions or whatever, as well as your lifestyle and kind of what you're looking for in, you know, bettering your health. What's awesome about Care-of is that it's completely personalized to you. So you're really just taking the best vitamins that are the best for your body. I take vitamin C just to kind of help with my overall immune support, vitamin D which supports bone health, ashwagandha which helps muscle recovery, and radiola which kind of helps with sports endurance. I work out a lot, sweat a lot, so these are really good things for me. I think that these just help with my overall health and I've seen a lot of improvements. I've been working with Kara for a while and I've honestly seen such a difference in my overall health and I definitely recommend it to anyone who's just kind of looking for an easy way to supplement their already healthy living. Click the link in my description and use my code code Tringsby to get 25% off your first care of order. With health, of course, comes my huge suggestion, my constant suggestion to all of you, which is to drink more water. You got a headache, drink water. You're feeling bloated, drink water. You can't sleep, drink water. Water helps dissolve minerals and nutrients, helping them, you know, be more accessible to your body. It helps break down and remove waste. And overall, just literally helps everything function properly. The more water you drink, the clearer your skin will be. I mean, don't like drown yourself in water. You know, always have a bottle or a glass in your hand and you're you're set for life. To my people out there who think water tastes bad, it just tastes like nothing, just drink it. It's just really good for you, I promise, okay? My next tip is to any way, shape or form, find yourself in some form of nature. We're human beings. Beings, we're animals, we come from the earth, we belong in the earth, we belong in the dirt, in the sand. In this day in life, I think we find ourselves so much inside and so much just in our own little worlds of computer and never touching our feet to the ground. So if there's any way that you guys can find just time to go outside, time to appreciate this incredible earth that you live in. The more, you know, you find love for your life and for your existence. Nature 100% correlates with nurture and I think that nature truly nurtures our minds, bodies, and souls. I am an outdoor junkie. I absolutely love everything having to do with hiking, 
biking to the beach and the grass and gardening and just anything really having to do with outside so like you're talking to an outdoor kind of queen but if you don't really like the outside try it try to take a few minutes outside even if you live in a city just get that sun on your face get that fresh air in your lungs it's so incredibly good for you and I swear to god helps so much my next tip of course is to move your body and uh, my goodness gracious. This is a big one because I have had times where I wasn't really able to work out or I wasn't, you know, motivated to move my body or something and I it just really did not help with my own personal depression and you just start to feel so still and stuck and getting your blood flowing it really just like releases so many happy hormones in your body and just truly makes you a happier person but of course not to go too extreme to where you're working out constantly because that's not good for you either but to kind of try and find that balance of going for a walk going for a run working out four to five times a week if you know finding things that you love to do while working out you know, finding things that are fun and you're moving your body. Recently, I've been playing tennis. I, I suck at tennis. I literally am horrible at tennis, but I'm moving my body. I'm out in the sun. I'm hitting the ball. It's, it's fun. It's so fun. My absolute favorite way to move my body is by dancing. Dancing is just an expression of the soul. It is the abs my absolute favorite thing to do. Just taking some sort of physical activity, sprinkling it in there to your busy, busy life. It can help you so much. Even if you're not a dancer, try and find some sort of beginning dance class or just honestly turn on the music in your room and dance nobody's watching you nobody's judging you don't judge yourself just freaking move your body i swear to god moving to the beat it feels so good you just up and at them you guys just dancing moving running surfing swimming ugh anything to move your body, it'll just becoming an active person and just like caring for your body, loving the way that it moves, being grateful for the fact that you have a healthy, happy body that can move. I mean, it's just gonna push you so far into that golden light of self-love. Last but certainly not least, love for yourself can truly come when you start to love others. And by others, I mean your friends, your family, your neighbor, your, the stranger. By giving a bit of yourself to others, you're truly serving yourself. And so if you can find a way to help out your community in any way, or just even to help out your sister, your brother, your mom, going the extra, you know, mile to say, hey mom, uh, what can I help you with? Or my mom's gonna kill me watching this mean like, you never help me. Yo, I'm not perfect. All of these things are things I'm trying to do more of and they're things that I've found that have helped me. I'm no way, shape or form perfect. Picked, you guys, I'm so incredibly imperfect. It's not even funny when I'm telling you these things It's really not for me to be like guys. I'm perfect and you're not like get it together Like I just want to be here for you guys I want to be someone that you guys can turn to I'm not a therapist or whatever But I just want to be a friend that's there for you guys giving you guys some tips something to help you to find that mm, That sweet spot that happiness in yourself that joy in your life that passion for living because ugh, life is so good when it really comes down to it. Life is incredible and this experience is amazing. No, I'm not perfect. I'm working every day on myself and I, and I know that you guys are too and that's what matters. Going the extra mile to be mindful, think about how others are doing, to check on your friends, check on all your friends. As some of you may know, I recently lost one of my really, really, really close friends by way of suicide. And that's why I feel like it's so important to me and my message to just share how important it is to love each other and ourselves and just try to, you know, really help each other out because life can be really tough and the more that we love each other the more that we love ourselves the more happiness and joy will be in our lives and it's just funny because her name is joy my friend that passed away and uh, i just want it to be my message to spark joy to help you to find joy in your life check on your friends check on your strong friends check on your weak friends check on your quiet friends check on your loud friends check on everyone around you and see how they're doing check in with yourself of course this whole video is about you checking in with yourself if you're truly not doing well uh, reach out for help and it is one of the bravest things that you will ever do because I have been in that extremely dark place and I reached out for help and I can tell you that I have gotten out of the darkness and I am in the light and let me be someone that can be here for you and say that depression can end and depression can minimize and you can be happy again you can feel the joy and the love in your life again I promise to you that things will get better and all you have to do is reach out for help and to try and just make that effort because I know that you are doing your best and I know that it can be tough, but I know you can do it. You can be strong and you are strong. You're so strong and just know that it's okay to be sad and it's okay to feel this way, but
but know that there is a way out of it. If you need help, reach out for it. It doesn't make you weak. I promise that's exactly the opposite of what it does. It means you're so strong and you're willing to fight and you're willing to do the work to be the best version of you and just feel that true gratitude and that happiness again. So in your care for others, it's your care for the planet. I cannot stress this enough, but being mindful about your use of, you know, single use plastic. And I'm sure all you guys know how the universe and the earth is doing right now and it is not the best. And by the time it's 2050, there's supposed to be more plastic in the ocean than there is fish. And by that time, oh gosh, in the next 20, 30 years, it's gonna be irreversible and we're gonna just live in this freaking chaos of a planet and I think that it's so important to do the work now to just put in the time and just really care for this life because our life is so incredible this life is so precious the nature is incredible I think that people don't realize how lucky we are to be here on this planet here and now I think people don't realize what a perfect storm it is that all of these humans are alive on planet earth think about all the other planets where one degree shift is off there's no life it just blows my mind how incredible this planet is and how incredible this life is and it could very well be taken away from us just because we're greedy and we're selfish and we think that we need all these things that we don't and we think that it's okay to just trash this planet. Step one is just kind of do, seeing what you can do to help. Once again, just being mindful, bringing your metal straw wherever you go, bringing your reusable cup when you go to Starbucks. If you're getting takeout, take that extra step and have things brought in your own container, reducing your Ziploc bag use. I'm gonna link below some different companies where you can get awesome re reusable household products like utensils and whatnot because it's so important. I'm also gonna link down below a few foundations and a few things where you can help out in your community, you can help out by donating or by participating in beach cleanups, by participating in whatever you can. And it's beautiful and climate change is real, so like, let's get it together. Another way you can tremendously help the planet is by eating more plant-based foods rather than animal products. I'm not perfect. I was vegan for two years. I'm no longer vegan, but that is due to serious health reasons that I haven't really talked about on my channel. I would consider the majority of the food I eat to be plant-based, and I, I try to do my absolute, absolute best, um, but because of my previous eating disorder and health issues, I do have to incorporate a few animal products and that's okay because I'm not perfect and I don't expect any of you guys to be perfect and I hope that nobody expects any of us to be perfect because we're all very human. But if we're doing our best, that's what matters. That's what matters, 100% that is what matters most is that we are doing our best to help and to help ourselves and to love ourselves and love our planet. So if you can eat more plant-based foods, that's wonderful because the majority of the greenhouse gases that are released, the majority of the CO2 that is released is because of animal farms. And so if we can reduce our animal intake, which reduces the distribution and factory farms and that type of thing, dairy farms, everything, then we can reduce our carbon footprint. So I'm doing my best and I, and I know that you guys are too. And I hope with the, you know, my videos, other creators videos that we can just really stand together and start making a change. And last but not least, to love yourself, to love our planet is researching where your clothes come from. A lot of the fast fashion industry basically gets thrown into landfills creating incredible amounts of trash, garbage. These clothes sit for hundreds of years, leaving toxic dyes and chemicals that just kind of seep into our soil and our grounds and kind of pollute our earth. There are about 75 million people who are making the fast fashion clothing and they basically get trapped into this life of poverty because, you know, somebody needs to be making the clothes. They get paid less than or about $3 an hour, which is just ridiculous. Obviously something needs to be done about that. And the fast fashion industry, CO2 emissions, are just through the roof. And so if we can limit our consumption of fast fashion, then these things will hopefully deminimize. So we can buy from sustainable brands, which isn't necessarily very cheap, but it's making the investment into the planet. It's making investment into clothes that are gonna last you a long time. Whereas fast fashion clothes, usually you wear them once, twice, 10 times and throw away. Whereas if you buy something from somewhere sustainable, something that's gonna last, you're gonna wear it a lot more. And so for me, the majority of the clothes that I buy are from goodwill. Of course, I'm guilty of shopping because just like I said before, I'm imperfect. I'm doing my best. And so if you can do your best too, to just shop from mainly sustainable brands as well as goodwill, reuse your clothes, recycle your clothes, and give away your clothes. I recently gave away like four 
huge bags full of clothes because I don't need them, someone else needs them more than I do, and so I've been donating a lot. So that kind of starts to wrap up my main top things that you can do to start to cultivate self-love, things that you can do for self-care, things that you can do that just truly help you. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram at Tringsby. Let me just tell you guys that I love you so much and thank you for being a part of this family. Thank you for being a part of my community. It's people like you that give me the opportunity to have a job where my passion and my job literally is to spread awareness about important things in life. And so everything, happiness starts with gratitude and self-love. At the root of everything, we all just want to be happy. And so let's bring each other up. Let's care for one another. Let's care for ourselves and let's make this world a better place. Remember how blessed and lucky you are to be alive here now. I love you you so much. Don't forget to go drink a glass of water. See you in the next vid.